Atabe Black Rito. Born for the collaboration of Oliver Nevad of United Cigars and the visionary of Nelson Alfonso family. The Atabe Black Rito is more than just a smoke. It's a story infused with the spirit of innovation and dedication to excellence. It pays homage to the goddess Atabe with high regards, a deity in the mythology of the Taino's people. She is believed to be the mother of water and the source's fertility and creation. It pushes the boundaries of what cigars can be, from what it seems to be an April Fool's joke to an NFT token in the open sea that only a fool would regret on missing out. It's almost like a result of a dark, mysterious ritual come to life. Distinguished by its elegant black lacquered box and rich dark tobacco leaf, the Atabe Black Rito is a cigar that exudes sophistication and luxury. It represents the pinnacle of the Atabe line thus far, offering an amplified experience for discerning aficionados. The Atabe Black Rito is not just a cigar. It's an experience, a journey for the senses, a moment of indulgence for those who appreciate finer things in life. It's a conversation starter. It's a symbol of good taste and complex palates. So, will I be charmed by this black ritual, or is it just a fool's wish and a trick to seize $50 on your pocket? This is the Adivate Black Rito Review. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another cigar review. And today we have a little bit of special cigar. I figure it's a new year. Let's do a special cigar, right? So today we have uh, the Atabe Black Ritos. And I want to say big thanks to two people. One will be Eric Smoke One if you have one. He sent me two of these. And also Working Man Cigar uh, uh, Roger, he also sent me two of these. So I've got plenty of things to mess around with. So long as they are good. Okay, <laughs> so long as they're good. But this particular one came from uh, Roger's box because uh, I talked to Eric before. You know, Roger tries his best uh, to to share his collection. And I want to uh, do this cigar out of Eric's, uh, not uh, uh, Roger's box, not Eric's box. So. Plus, Eric's came late. So, you know. So thank you, Roger, this from you. And uh, just some information on this, six by six and one eighth by 55. Um, you know, it has the dark Ecuador, Ecuadorian wrapper and pretty much not much in there. Uh, there's uh, some of the stuff are kind of dis un undisclosed, but I think there's Peruvian and there's also Cuban in there. So basically that's what it is. Now, you guys already seen my regular Atabe reviews. I don't really like that regular Atabe because it has a bitter note. So I'm 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 actually, you know, a, a little bit wary about this one. He's you know, you know he have a different review than me, but no. But here we go. Take a good look. Atabe. Butterfoot says ST selected tobacco. And the top says Atabe. I mean, it's very oily um, wrapper too. It's very, very oily. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I might just take some footage on the side to show you guys. Um, but right now I'm just going to smoke it. The best part about that is I don't have to stop, record, and then do it because I have more that I can record it from. I'm just wanting to do that. Anyways, the band. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Bottom band that looks like a lettuce, um, like, you know, thing. And then uh, when I say lettuce, I'm, I mean the, the, the fence. It's called lettuce. Uh, and then um, the town of some sort. It's a selected tobacco. I can't read the words on top. I think there's a bunch of Roman numeral uh, numbers, but I can't tell. It's hard to read. 
Anyway, let's go. Cedar wood and tobacco smell. And when I say tobacco, it's one of those perfume, like cologne tobacco, okay? Very nice smell. The cedar wood is very, very, very nice. Like I'm like I feel like I'm smoking uh smelling a really nice brand new cologne that's very manly. But yet yeah, it doesn't have that cologne. It's more woodsy note, not like the cologne note, like floral note. Ooh, my nose. I think there's a little bit of pepper in there because it tingles my nose. All right, let's go. All right, can't complain about the draw. The draw is good. Leather. <clears throat> Leather and earth. Dry grass. All right. Let it up. Let's go. Almost there. Get it all around. Turn it all around. All right. Taste notes. Let's go. Cedar. Spice. Bitterness. A lot of smoke output. Pepper. Right, earth, leather, pepper. Wood. Mm. Bonya. That just tastes a little shit. But it wasn't 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 unpleasant or anything. It's just it's there. I think there's some sort of sweetness that I want to show up, but it, it did not. It, it like something else kind of covered it up. We'll see. One third. Be right back. All right. So I'm about one third ish, and uh, I had to say, if this thing is called black ma uh, ritual, black ritual, right? Black rito, black ritual. You can probably taste what they throw into this black ritual. Just imagine those um, uh, uh, witch brew, you know, that big giant urn, and then just throw like, here is a virgin spider, a tail of a um, wonderless uh, lizard. Uh, here's a bottle of tears of, you know, a uh, uh, virgin man. Uh, here is the hair of a eyeless widow. And there is a little bit of pile of dung. There is a little bit of shit. Uh, there is a little bit of horse ass. And here's a little bit of the um, um, dirt. Yabbity do, yabbity do. You know, that's what's going on the first dirt. It tastes pretty weird. It tastes like dirt and barnyard and and like basically. I, it tastes like I, I was telling Eric like what did you like did, didn't you have a review on this thing didn't you like it it tastes like it tastes like I, like I didn't eat today and that tastes like the first thing I ate today was shit 
And he's like, just wait, just wait. And okay, all right, just wait. So yeah, first turn, not so good. You know, if this is the black ritual where you have to get through the first turn before you enjoy it, that might be it. It's a $50 stick. I really don't think it should do that, but I'm going to smoke the rest uh, into the second third. We'll see if it gets better because it was rock. Yeah. Uh, like I was making all kinds of faces I didn't think I had. So be right back. All right. Second third, it did get better. Holy cow. I was like, if I had to smoke through a call down, I, I would die. All right. So now it's... um. It has converted to like a like a sweet cedar with a little bit of cocoa or a little bit of um yeah a little bit of earthiness cubanesque er, er, uh, earthiness um a little bit of berry like sweet a little bit of grassy note pepper that's where it's going it's actually not bad now, the only thing that I really hate about the regular Atabe was the bitterness. That wasn't here. So this is a lot more enjoyable compared to the original Atabe uh, because it doesn't have that negative bitterness that lasts the whole way. So right now, second, third, not bad at all. I actually enjoy that a lot more. It's almost like, you know, it's like how you get chicks, right? Um, you smack them in the face and they say, Damn, you're fucking beautiful. It's one of those things, you know? It's like you give them a little bit of bad and they give them good. At, oh, you know, it's like, I hate you. And they're like, why? You go, because you're so beautiful. Oh, okay, okay. You know, it's one of those things like, I give you a first third really bad and I give you a second third, even if it's just a little bit good, you would think it's really, really good. It's kind of like that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually not bad. And it's converting again. It's, it tastes like it's converting again. It's, it's getting more to this woodsy, uh, grassy tone that's going. A little bit, uh, I think there's a little bit of mineral coming out too. So, all right, we'll smoke to the last third a little bit and then we'll go to the summary. But at this moment, still not $50. Still not $50. So, we'll be right back. All right, I'm done. So, last third. Cocoa and berry end notes. Like when it first arrived, the um, last stir, it kind of, I taste like cherry. Like, you know, it was like really strong cherry. And then it kind of wears off. And then now it's just a little bit woodsy cocoa and, and berry sweetness at the end. Um, wow. Yeah. And it's still kind of sweet. So after the second third, it's pretty good. First third was trash. And I guess people will appreciate the cigar. The cigar tastes pretty good, but $50? Mm. If you're buying it with that beautiful box that they came with, sure. But if the cigar itself, I'll say it's a $25 to $30 range cigar. $25 to $30 range cigar. Now, it did burn a little bit funny for me. Uh, in the beginning, it has a tunnel too. And well, I'll, I'll call that a channel because it's, it existed before I was smoking it. So like, you know, as it burned over, like I wasn't even smoking and I was waiting. So I'm, you know, smoking it slowly. As it burned over, you see a little hole, which is fine. It didn't bother it that much. And then it burned through and then it started to burn wonky. I fixed it about three times uh, and it went out about twice or three times but overall it was enjoyable enough where i can give it 25 to 30 dollar range but without the box and everything that goes with it you know the whole package is not really worth 50 dollars. i think in fact even with the box i'm looking at at best 40 dollars. at best 40 dollars. so yeah it really depends on you now i thought it has a cubanesque taste on the second third but that disappeared relatively quickly. Like you don't taste anything that's Cuban afterwards. So I don't know if there is is Cuban in there. Maybe there is. Then it might be very tiny. But I, uh, if there is, other flavor has overtaken it so much that you don't taste anything. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call that. Like if you like Cuban, go try one of these. No, it's it's you know they might have one leaf or half a leaf or a sliver of a leaf in there, but it's not a lot. You gotta taste the majority of that 
cocoa, sweet, uh, fruitiness, and maybe cherry here and there, and woodsiness to it. So it's relatively enjoyable cigar. Uh, compared to their original Atabe, it knocked it out the park, okay? The original Atabe was a one. This is probably like um, six and a half-ish um, cigar. So it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's enjoyable cigar. But am I going to go buy it again? No, because I got three more to smoke. <laughs> So I, I probably wouldn't buy it. I, I don't think it's worth that price for me. Um, and I'm not a big Atabay person. So for me to rate it this high, it's already very high, to be honest with you. So mm, that should be it for this review. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, you guys know how the Atabay band looks like. It's the same thing. They didn't change it. Atabay right there. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this review. And make sure to check out... Uh, Working Man Cigars channel. Uh, I'll tag him in the description. Also, check out Smoke One if you have one. Eric's channel. Also in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.